Hello, what's up you guys? We are filming in the car. Look, there's Chipotle. Hopefully no one sees me. This is very embarrassing. But I wanted to talk to you for a second because there is an image that I saw yesterday that is probably going to be stuck in my head forever and is just the perfect the perfect example of just how weak we are as a country right now. And the images, so if you heard the news yesterday about 60 Republican lawmakers, including the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, Matt Gates went down there, all kinds of people, and they were essentially uh, going down to the border and having a press conference. And uh, they were saying that if, if we don't get control over this border, if we don't have more border security, if our bill isn't passed, we are going to shut down the government. As you know, budgets are due soon. And this is the time of the year where uh, there's always a threat to shut down the government, this and that. Well, at this point, it's pretty serious, I would say. In the month of December, we had 302,000 people enter our country illegally. They're being flown all over the United States. Cities are being overrun. Budgets are having to be cut. Uh, it's so bad. And I'll do a video on this later. I actually have footage um, that was released by a local journalist in New York City of migrants who are getting desperate because they're just sitting in, her, in our country. They can't work yet. Um, so they're going up and knocking on residences' doors, knocking on doors, asking for money. So this particular ring footage, it caught migrants going to the door, knocking on it. Uh, the person tells them to go away, but you can continue to see them in the ring footage go and check cars. It was a mom and children. They were checking cars to see if the cars were locked, the cars that were parked on the street. So this is getting completely out of control. But the image I'm talking about isn't even that. So these 60 Republican lawmakers were doing a press conference on the border in Eagle Pass, Texas yesterday. OK, and they were right in front of the Rio Grande. What was happening? Well, 60 U.S. Senate, 60 Republican lawmakers, police National Guard, like whoever else was there. This was a huge to-do. There were illegal immigrants wading through the Rio Grande, crossing into our country illegally right in front of these people. Did the immigrants care? No, they don't care because nothing is going to happen. They're not going to get deported. They're not even saying now that they're seeking asylum. They're just saying, I'm here to work. I'm here to work. Biden is letting me in. And that's what I want to do. So they're not even actually pretending like they're claiming asylum at this point. Somebody's coming and I'm embarrassed. Can you just walk? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't film in my car. I just feel like I needed to talk to you. So you have this stream of illegal immigrants that are crossing illegally. You would think that they would try to move away from the lawmakers. Oh no, they're giving this press conference all big in their britches and people are just entering into our country illegally right in front of them. That is one of the biggest images of weakness I have ever seen. Imagine that. We used to be the world's superpower and now our lawmakers are sitting there and people just don't even care. That's how emboldened they are. They don't even care. They're just crossing the border right in front of them right in front of them. And Bo Ber Bergman, I think I'm saying his name correctly. He's just an incredible journalist. I've, I've gained a lot of respect for him. He's been covering what's happening. He works for Real American Voices or something. It's a news network. And he's been covering what's happening on the border. He's been on the border. He's been to Chicago. He's been to New York. He's been in the airports. He's been to a lot of these facilities that are, that are popping up all over the place, these uh, migrant shelters. And he's been reporting. So Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, is leading this press conference, and Bo asks him, he says, okay, so if, if our border isn't secure, are you, are you going to be shutting down the government, which is what they threatened before they went down there? And he totally cowered in the face of Bo and said, we're, we're, we're not here to answer questions. We're just not here to answer questions. While people are illegally entering our country right in front, right in front, right in front of them. So it, it was just the ultimate, the ultimate, and I'm not trying to be negative, but I do think that people need to understand how bad this is and how we have people, even Republicans, who I just do not feel like they're doing everything that they can be doing.
And in my opinion, if you are an elected official, if you are not screaming at the top of your lungs 24-7, uh, 365 days, then you, you, have, you have no business being in public office. You have no business. If you're not doing every. This is the most basic thing that a country can have are secure borders. And we can't even do that. And they're not even trying to sneak in. They're not even trying to sneak in. They're doing it right in front of 60 lawmakers. So pathetic. I cannot even begin to tell you how pathetic that image was. The image of these people just entering illegally, crossing the Rio Grande, and then Bo asking Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, that question, and he wouldn't even answer it. They're not going to shut down the government. They're not going to do anything. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all so we can make people think that we're doing something. We can make people think that we care, but we're not actually doing anything. Um, it's just, it's such a shame to see uh, like, <laughs> it's such a shame to see right in front of these lawmakers people are just breaking just breaking our laws they don't care they've been emboldened this administration has allowed them to be emboldened and a lot of these individuals not all of them of course and and trust me i i'm never saying that it's okay to enter our country illegally i will never say that i do not condone that i do not respect it but ultimately i bl I, I lay the most blame on our own government who is allowing this to happen who has emboldened these people and some of these people they don't have respect for american citizens um they don't have respect for our laws obviously and they're 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 draining all of the resources and a lot of these areas. So I just wanted to say that. How is this going to end? I don't know. I think one of the major things is just making sure these people are voted out, which is kind of scary to say that because I I am suspicious that a, a lot of the reason we're letting so many people in is because Democrats know that they have no leverage. They, they have nothing going for them that is working for the American people. So they're just importing replacements. That's honestly how I feel. Do I have proof of that? No, but all you need to do is open your eyes. So the next thing is going to be, and this is what people need to be ahead of, the next thing is going to be, for instance, this just happened in Denver. So just a few days ago, Denver... The, the migrants in Denver were protesting. They were protesting because their tent encampment was being swept and they were protesting because they wanted expedited work permits. So the new move is going to be, well, they're already here. They can't work. We need to get them jobs so they can contribute, so they can stop. Yeah, this is, this is they are just forcing these policies. That's what they're doing because that's the next move. They're gonna say, well, we need to get them working. We need to get them contributing. They wanna work. So they are going to force citizenship on us by these people and then they're going to get them voting and that's that's the plan that's what i think do i have proof no that's just my opinion uh but i i think all you need to do at this point is open your eyes how how else can you explain who would do this to themselves what country in their right mind would do this to, to themselves and that just that picture of weakness of all of those individuals just crossing the rio grande not giving a care in the world that there are 60 lawmakers right in front of them. Unbelievable. Republicans are weak right now.